Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to implement the functionality to show the toast notification where we get the foreground five days push notification. So let's get started. As you can see, the project of the user. Let's go inside the utils package. And here inside the Firebase utils file, I'm going to create a method with the name on message listener. So it will be export on, on message listener. Inside this, I'm going to create a new promise where we have to get the result. Let me create an arrow function. Inside this, we have to call the method that we have on message from the Firebase messaging. As you can see, first we have to pass it the messaging that we have the initialization of the get messaging. It will give us a payload. Let me create an arrow function. And we have to pass here the result inside the argument. I'm going to pass the payload. Now let's go to the app.js. Let me import the method that we have on message listener. So here I'm going to call the method that is a on message listener dot then it will get payload. Let me create another function. And here I'm going to add the console.log to print the foreground notification. Let me add here the string that is a received foreground message. In case of error, I'm going to add the catch block where we have to get the error. And here I'm going to add the console.error to print the error message. Now, after this, I'm going to install React Toastify in our React project. As you can see, React Toastify installed successfully. Let's go to the index.js. And here I'm going to add the import of the React Toastify. As you can see, let's go back to the app.js. So here I'm going to use toast container from the React Toastify. As you can see the method that we have on message listener. After getting the payload, I'm going to show here the toast where we have a content with the notification title and the body. So let me add in the div. Inside this, we have a first tag that is a strong where we have to print the notification title. So it will be a payload dot notification dot title. Second, we have to show the body. After this, I'm going to define here the position of the toast, and that is a top right. Let me add here the hyphen. Now let's go to the UI. As you can see, we are getting the error at the line 22 in the app.js. So let me check what is the issue. Let's go to the Firebase utils. Let me add here the return. Let's save this. Let's go back to the browser. Now, as you can see, we are getting here the FCM token. Let me copy this token. Let's go to the postman. Let me add here the token inside the body tab. Let's click on the send button. As you can see, the status we got 200 OK. And we are getting here the background message. Now, let me drag this browser inside the right of the screen. And on the left, I'm going to open postman. Let's hit the endpoint again. As you can see, we are getting it the notification with the title and the body, but we are getting the title and the body in the same line. So let's go back to the VS code. Let me add here the div on the place of the strong. Let's hit the endpoint again. Now, as you can see, the notification we got with the title and the body. And you can see here the console where we are getting the foreground message. So that's all for now from my side. If you have any confusion, you can do comment. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.